What up, guys? Bench Buddies are back with my Week 6 NCAA Football Power Rankings. This week was a big change, new format coming, and new teams entering the ranking after a big week of football. But before we get into it, we got to talk about dropping from my Power Rankings. And Louisville, you know, the loss at Notre Dame, they were only lost by seven, but really weren't in the game. Oklahoma State, two straight losses, so they're falling out. Nebraska with a win on the road at Purdue, but just some better teams right now, and they're falling out. Same with Iowa victims of the bye week and not playing a game. And then in the others receiving votes, you have those three, Louisville, Nebraska, mm -hmm. and Iowa. And teams like Boston College and Texas A&M that are right there. Boston College won without their uh, starting quarterback. And then Texas A&M is right there as well. And, you know, they're playing some good football. 25 through 21, this is where you get the teams that I haven't ranked at all this year. Boise State, UNLV, Indiana. And then you find Illinois after their loss to Penn State, they fall to 24 and Kansas State moves up after their win against Oklahoma State. But the biggest story here is UNLV, what they did to Fresno State after the whole NIL situation this week. I don't think anybody saw that coming, including myself. Uh, I picked Fresno State to win that game and obviously didn't turn out well for me. Indiana playing some good football as well. 5-0 and uh, could possibly be 6-0 and because Northwestern is bad. Kansas State and Illinois coming going into a bye, uh, much need a bye at 4-1. And, and, you know, I think out of any of these teams that really can make a run, I think Boise State has that chance to make the run. If they're dominating Fresno, or if UNLV, sorry, could be that team. UNLV, uh, Boise State could be a great game later down the road uh, in the Mountain West to be that spot for the 12th seed, probably. 20 through 16, you get four Big 12 teams and a former Big 12 team, an SEC team now in Oklahoma. BYU jumps into the rankings after they've proven to me that they can win big games. You know, one week wasn't a fluke. I like to see how they respond after pulling off a big upset and they go into Baylor and get a win there. So they're more than deserving to be ranked. Iowa State, same thing, 4-0. Shut out Houston on the road. That's always a big thing, shutting out the home team. Arizona, big win on the road at Utah after their loss the week before. So they're moving right back up the rankings. Utah obviously falling down and they just struggled in this one i think they were a little hungover from that oklahoma state game so you got a lot of teams here all with one loss besides iowa state and byu of course you got the back three all with one loss and a lot a lot in front of them still uh, as we got a lot of football left 15 through 11 everybody here has a loss michigan usc lsu clemson notre dame how it stacks up uh, michigan goes to washington this week usc goes to minnesota lsu has a bye Clemson at Florida State should be a blowout there. And Notre Dame has a bye. And I think if you look at these games, Michigan had the concerning win, only three points, almost gave up the onside kick. USC took care of business at home. Same with LSU and Clemson. And then Notre Dame had a good win against Louisville at home. And they really controlled the game in that one. 10 through 6. I have Ole Miss still staying in my top 10. And I'm starting to think that this Kentucky team is going to be really good after what they did to Georgia only lost by a point, and then go, and then Ole Miss comes into their place, and they beat Ole Miss. Yeah, I think Kentucky's going to be pretty solid, so I'm not really dropping Ole Miss too much. Now, if they lose to South Carolina, then we might have a problem. At nine, we got Missouri. Uh, they have a bye week, so they're moving up because of Ole Miss falling. They're on the road at Texas A&M, which will be a great game for the SEC, a big game uh, this early in the season. Miami at eight with a controversial win over Virginia Tech. Uh, to say the least, the interception that wasn't, uh, or sorry, the touchdown that wasn't, and it was incomplete because the defender was had his foot out of bounds. I don't know how much you want to believe, but a win is a win, and at this point, you got to move on. They go to Cal this week, should destroy Cal. Uh, they don't look like a good football team this year, and Miami just keeps finding ways to win. At seven, you got Penn State. They're jumping in my top ten, and it's because they beat Illinois at home 21-7. It wasn't a pretty game, but a win is a win, and that's Penn State football for you. They're at 4-0. Get UCLA at home this week. Probably going to win that one. And be in a good spot in the Big Ten. Same with the Oregon, 4-0. 1-0 in the conference. Beat a former Pac-12 opponent in UCLA on the road. They get Michigan State at home this week. And I think that's another win for them. Michigan State going on the road after what we saw last week against Ohio State. Oregon should take care of business. In five through one, you got four SEC teams here. Obviously, I got to put Bama at one now after that win. Uh, it's only right. Uh, Georgia still stays in my top five. I think, you know, a little 
little overreaction. They just had a really bad first half. Carson Beck didn't play well, but man, did they come back and make it a game. They were up one at one point in the fourth. And then 13 seconds later, Alabama was winning 41 34. And that's how it ended up. And then obviously Beck threw the pick at the end. So Bama at one, Georgia at five. And then in between there, you get Tennessee, who's staying at four. Uh, and they get Arkansas this week on the road. Ohio State destroys Michigan State at home. And they get Iowa at home, which will be a much better game, I would think. I would assume Ohio State would still win that game, but it should be a better low-scoring game. And then Texas falls out of the top spot, obviously, for Bama's reasons. And Texas looks good. Arch Manning did what he had to do to win this one. They go into a bye. And the question is, is Ewers going to start out of the bye week, or is it still going to be Manning? But that's it for my Week 6 Power Rankings. Check back next week to see if your team made the cut. Until then, the Bench Buddies are out.